G'day guys, today we're going to be doing something really cool. We're going to be able to make yourself, turn yourself into a astronaut. Now today we're going to be using Adam Driver, that's in Kylo Ren. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we've downloaded from free images online, a picture of an astronaut here. Okay, as you can see, we're using Photoshop 2020 here. So I'm just going to be trying to use the most basic tools that you can use to do this. In other words, I'm not, you don't have to rely on something like Photoshop 2, 2020. Okay, uh, on the left hand side, we're going to select the pen tool. Just the ordinary pen tool, not any of these other ones. Just the ordinary pen tool. I'm just going to zoom in and see what we're going to be working with here. So we're going to go up to hold down the space bar key and you can move the image around like that. Okay, get the pen tool, just the ordinary pen tool. I'm going to trace around the helmet, just the face of the helmet, around that black area there, right around the whole thing. See here this white part, that's part of the, uh, the, the, the part behind. So we're just going to trace around this black area. So I'm going to click on the top part here, then click around about to here, something like that. Now there's two different ways you can do this. Why you still got your cursor down, holding that down, you can start to move that and move the, move the pen tool alignment in place like that. It's quite hard to do it that way um, because when you go to the next level, um, it already is on a curve. So we're just going to delete delete that and start again. So we click on the front top part there and then we click on the next one and as you can see the line straight here. So we just click on the middle, basically the, the peak of where the circle is going to be. Hold in the command key and then you can just drag it up into the right position that you want it. So there's the pen, the blue line there, that's the line that we want. Now we've finished here on this section, so the next section, you just click to another section and it continues like that. Do the same thing, click on the middle, hold down the command key and then push it into position. Now to go further down the page, I'm just going to move the whole entire image. So hold down the spacebar key and I can move the image up into position. There's the last key point that we used for the pen tool. I'm going to go down to something like here. And I think the peak of it is going to be about there. So I'm just going to click in there, hold in the command key, and then move that into position like that. And hold down the spacebar key, do the same thing again. This point, I think around about there, that's where the middle of it's going to be. Hold down the command key and go around like that. Now you can maneuver it like that if you want. Now see here, it hasn't, hasn't really. It's gone a bit off. You can click on it and command key. You can draw that into position like that. Okay, so we're right now where we are. Okay, you know, click on to the next point, middle, command key, go down, hold in spacebar key and press into position. Now click the next point, about there, command key, like that. And come up to here, do it about there, command key, like that. Hold down the space bar key, drag the whole image up again. I'm just going to try and trace it up to something like, let's see, let's see what we're working with here. Okay, we're going to go up to that point there, and about here is the middle, command key, of course, and there. Command key, it's a bit of a bit of a hump there, but anyway, this is part of the illustration process anyway. Okay, command key in there, and don't go right to the point because as soon as you go to the point, you're gonna have some issues. So go straight to that one, more of a hump, and then I'll click on that one, and then now we've got our, oh, that's it. Now we've got our complete circle. So you just right click on, uh, it, while you've got the pen tool still active, you right click and make selection. For the radius zero, that's what you want, because uh, uh, the radius is the difference between the image and what you're selecting. Hit OK, and now it's selected right around the whole entire image. Hold down the spacebar key, and you can walk, walk right around what you've, what you've selected. 
So that's pretty good. That's what we want. Okay. Now, um, we're going to delete this. I'm going to paste it again. Um, otherwise, you can go to a new layer and mask it and all that. We're not going to go into that because we're going to try and make it so that anyone with any version of Photoshop can do this. Um, I'm just going to go eye drop tool, the background, and the background's probably in some black. I've got two blacks here anyway, so that's fine. So while we've got it selected, I'm just going to go up to edit and cut. Straight away it goes to that black background. I'm going to zoom out a bit so you see what we're doing. And I'm just going to go to edit, then paste, and then get the move tool at the top here and just move it back into position where it originally was. Now, if you can't get it back into a position that you think it should be, all you have to do is zoom in onto one section. Make sure you've got the move tool active, and you can see where it was and where it should be. It's going to go around to another point. Something like that. Jeez. Now if it's too much to move, like if you're going to move too much with the move tool, just use the arrows. Go down. So it doesn't look like it's out of place. It looks like the original image now. Doesn't look like it's in a separate layer. That's good, that's what we want. So I'm gonna zoom out. That's good, we've got that, we've got it selected. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn that layer off. We're gonna to go to the original image of your subject. In this case, it's gonna be Adam Driver. Now just use the lasso tool and just do a broad selection around. You want part of the neck in there and you want part of the head, pull the head and plus part of the neck. You get that, and you can just go to edit, copy, go to the astronaut image, edit, paste, and there he is. And straight away, the uh, transformation box comes up. If you don't have the transformation box coming up, all you do is you go to window, and then you go to, I guess you view extras, and extras will show transformation box. If not, um, Command T. So, okay, just on the ed edges here of transformation box, you can just drag and drop it whichever way you want, which does it in perspective. If you want to change it and you want it to have like your long face or something like that, you hold down the shift key and then you can change like that. We're not going to do that because we're dealing with the celebrity face that so we want it to make it look realistic. So we're going to try and make him fit in there so he looks realistic as for the size. So what we're going to do is just going to zoom out a bit more. So let's see, a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger again. Okay, so that should do it. Hit any selection tool and that'll get rid of it. Now, this is a real cool part. Turn him off. That section there is all we need. So I'm going to turn this back on. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to hit a hold in the command key and click it again. And it automatically selects that area. So turn him back on. And we've still got the part there. We've got part of his neck. That's really good. We're just going to hit mask. Um, for argument's sake, you hit mask and that'll do this straight away. Otherwise, if we don't do that, you can just go to copy and paste onto a new layer. So for argument's sake, we're just going to go mask. Okay, that's good. And when we've got a mask, on the right-hand side of the mask layer here, we're going to click there, and we're going to go convert to smart object. And we're going to go right-click, left-click again, and rasterize layer. That way we can work with it and do what we want. Now, with the eraser tool, um, a nice decent size eraser tool here. I'm just going to raise around his head, around the background here. I mean, there's all these different ways of selecting the area and you know getting rid of it and all that type of thing. We're lucky here because he's got black hair, so we can get away with a lot here. We don't have to go too much detail. 
like around the edge of his hair and all that type of thing. I have got other videos, tutorials there on how to, you know, select a face and all that type of stuff and delete it. Now, because he's got a helmet on and the base of it is around here, that's not going to show up. So we're just going to do a bit of a curve underneath, something like that. It looks like it's actually inside the actual suit. Okay, that's good. Turn this one back on and drag it and put it on top of his face. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do, we're just going to up to the opacity and then we're going to bring the opacity down so it's see-through. You can see his face. We don't want it down too far that we don't see much. We want to see so you can see his face in there. And you see some, you know, reflection from outside. So I'm just going to turn it off again. Go back to his layer there. Now, because he's inside, you're going to have a shadow from around the outside onto his face. So there's a couple of different ways we can do that. Get the burn tool and make sure the burn tool is a nice, decent size. And you can just start doing this, burning on the face. And the more you do it, the more darker it gets. But it, looks, it just goes red. So what we're going to do, we're not going to do that. We're going to go select his face again. Command, select. And let's just select that part that layer. I'm going to go to a new layer, so it goes directly on top of it. And we're just going to get the paintbrush tool and put it nice and large, a nice black colour. And we're just going to go around the outsides of him. Something like that. That's good. That's fine. Get the lasso tool or any selection tool to deselect. And we're just going to make sure that we get all that area. Right. Now we're just going to change the opacity, bring the opacity down a little bit, not too much. About there, that's good. We're going to hold in the command key with that 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 one and that one. The two layers. While we've got the command key still held down, hold in the G key and that groups those two layers together. Click on the group layer, convert the smart object. Click it again and rasterize the layer. Get the lasso tool just to deselect it. Now it's kind of got a bit of a shadow <clears throat> on the outside of his face. Now we can go back to the burn tool and just do a quick burn across the top of his head because you've got the shadow from the top of the helmet, top of his head there. Now we're going to go back to the dodge tool. And not too big, a decent size. And we're going to raise the highlights of his face there because you've got light gleaming straight into his face here, like the rest of the suit. You can see it's quite bright. So, very gently, just more or less like in the middle section nose, high cheekbones, and his eyes, of course. A bit more coming down here. All the parts that would be a lot brighter sticking out obviously the ones at the back there you wouldn't because that's behind you okay so that's looking good we turn that layer back on now it's a little bit too much so we're just going to bring the opacity down a little bit more so you can just see it like that turn it back off to see what we're doing with yep yep that's all looking good so there we go guys all you have to do now after that is just go to layer and flatten the image. But before we do that, we're just going to go back to this group with his face and keep that layer, keep it on. And as you can see, if you turn it off, it is quite highly contrast and everything else compared to the rest of the suit. So we're going to get a good image, adjustments, and exposure. And we're just going to bring the exposure down a bit. Sorry, bring the gamma correction, bring that up. That feels good, good job. Now the background looks a bit dark. That's all right, we just click on the background one there. And we're going to get the burn tool and we're just going to burn it a bit more so it blends in darker. Turn that layer back on and there we have it. So that's how you turn yourself into an astronaut. Thanks for watching.